Welcome guys to another 2JZ Tuesday series. My name is Michael Chung and today we are going to discuss about the mystery of camshaft timing. So we are going through the basics of the camshaft terminology and then we are going to discuss more in depth about the cam overlap. And then last but not least is the 2JZ cam options. My goal of explaining this topic is for you guys to select cams to suit your top response, your turbo selection. Alright guys, in certain region, in Malaysia especially, for Chinese, we call the cams are sugar cane, gamza. The base circle is the round portion of the cam loop where the buff lash or the buff clearance are made. Cam lift is the maximum distance that the cam lock pushes the lifter. However, some cams are pressing onto rocker arms and then rocker arm they got their own ratios that will multiply the overall buff lift. So cam lift should not be confused with buff lift. Duration means the length of the time the buff is held off the buff seat by the cam lock. Okay, this is measured in degrees of crankshaft rotation. The cam profile is the actual shape of the camshaft lock. An aggressive cam profile is normally means higher duration and higher lift. Degreeing the camshaft. This is a process that synchronizes the camshaft with the crankshaft by adjusting the camshaft gears. For best engine performance, engine builders uses a degree wheel to dial in this measurement. Most manufacturers will list the exact specifications for each cam on the cam card. The pawn cam name is used by Tome to describe camshafts designed as a true drop-in application and engineered for use on stock cylinder head, stock waft springs and ECU without compromising performance gains and improved response over the OEM camshaft for both street and track use. Okay, now let's discuss about what is cam overlap. Okay, overlap is the angle in crankshaft degrees that both the end tank and exhaust valves are at the same time open and this occurs at the end of the exhaust stroke and the beginning of the intake stroke so if you increase the lift and the duration the intake and the exhaust cam both of them will increase the overlap how is it measured? the overlap can be calculated by adding the exhaust closing and the intake opening points Okay, for example, a cam with an exhaust closing at 5 degrees after top dead center and intake opening of 8 degrees before top dead center. That means these two combined together becomes 13 degrees of overlap. So, why do we use overlap? Okay, at high engine speed, overlap allows a rush of exhaust gas out of the exhaust valve and this motion will help to pull the fresh air and the fuel mixture into the cylinder through the intake valve. Okay, increased engine speed will enhance this effect, especially at high RPM. Increasing overlap increases top end power but reduces low speed power and idle quality. So how much overlap can we use before it becomes a problem? Well, in order to spool a bigger turbo, you need more overlap. So let's go through some of the options for the 2JZ cam. Okay, the first stage is 256. And then the second stage is 
264 which I'm using for my current two jersey project and the third stage is 270 which I'm using uh, in the two jersey in Buda Pagasa you can search in this video last but not least the final one stage 4 is 280 degrees which will have idling of a rotary engine okay so i hope you guys enjoy this series and uh, comment below if you guys got any questions i'll try my best to answer all of them press the like button if you guys like this video and share with your friends if you think this video will benefit them subscribe for more videos and i'll share more insights of 2JZ engine building see you